Welcome back to the Snow Family Racing Garage. Today, we're doing something terribly easy, but it's gonna make a difference on this thing. We're changing the air filter. Now, Eric, why are we making content about this? Because we're doing it differently. Because this is Snow Family Racing, after all. It's really hard when you're looking at the camera to figure out where the logo is. Anyways, I have got some new parts. Because every factory replacement part that I can find is back ordered. OPGI has them, but I just didn't buy it through OPGI. Instead, this is Snow Family Racing. We're making it better. K&N parts. Now, I actually did some research and found that K&N does not have the exact size that fits the 1965 Buick Riviera. They have one that is a whopping eighth inch bigger. And because, you know, when you look at the air cleaner, it's got a hole about like that that it's breathing through. We got the extreme lid to put on top of this guy. It's not a perfect fit, but it'll be good enough for what we're doing. That's going to help this thing breathe a little bit better and make a difference on the road courses that we've been playing playing on recently. So, let me uh, show you what we got we're going and we'll dig into it. First off, you've all seen this view. That's the hole that the air filter breathes through. It's not very big considering the, the four barrel carburetor, the four holes, they're bigger than that. Now, this is the paper element that came out of it. It's due for a replacement, you know, that kind of good stuff. And here is the cannon that we're replacing it with. And you can see they are practically the same height. And yes, I understand that this top does not go all the way over the edge like it's supposed to, but that's okay because there's enough of a gap there. It's gonna bite into the rubbery top. We're not gonna crush it and it's gonna work like it's supposed to. Now, but what does that mean for the uh, beautiful uh, Buick Wildcat 445? That just means this is gonna become a showpiece. When we go to car shows, we're gonna put that lid on it and it's gonna look totally correct. But when we're driving it, when we're out playing with it, which is more times than not, it's gonna be able to breathe like it's supposed to with the better filter and you know get the extra benefit of you know the extreme lid. So let's uh, get it set in place and show you what it looks like. So with it sitting in place, this is what it looks like. I've gotta get a piece of quarter 20 all thread so that way we can make a longer air cleaner stud because it sits up a little taller than what it's supposed to. But with the hood closed, you're never gonna see it, but it's gonna breathe better. So I did also check that uh, we have over one inch of hood clearance between the top of the air filter to the hood. I checked it, admittedly I snagged some of my kids' Play-Doh, uh, put it in place, closed the hood, and I had an inch plus just a little bit, which is totally fine. So I got plenty of room for this and the air cleaner stud that's gonna go on top of it. Some of you are gonna laugh, but you know the truth. I'm scraping the bottom of the bucket. I couldn't actually find a piece of quarter inch all thread long enough, but what I found was I had this nifty uh, like Spectre from 20 years ago, air cleaner stud kit. It had this nice little coupler that I was able to stack two pieces of quarter 20 all thread together to make it work. And it's got little locking nuts that are knurled on it. They're pretty sweet. So, you know, shout out to ancient Spectre parts. Anyways, uh, Canon, the extreme lid, it comes with a stack of washers. It's got a rubbery washer and a couple metal washers. Their instructions specifically call out that they want to see the rubber washer down first and then the metal washer on top of it. They also want to see that you have a nut down here adjusted so that way it contacts the bottom of the lid so you don't scrunch the, uh, the lid too far. Now, I've been running one of these on my El Camino for a lot of years, and I don't have a nut under it. But you know something? If you're sensible, it's never an issue. So let's just put this guy on and make it work. Here's the completed air cleaner assembly. It's going to breathe a lot better I promise it's going to work. We've tested it. It does work. Uh, so everything's back together. The quarter 20 air cleaner wing nut is there. So that way we can reuse the really pretty Wildcat 445 air cleaner lid where appropriate. So really guys, changing your own air cleaner, putting on something more performance oriented, really simple. But the value comes in in that I did the research so that way you guys don't have to to get the right part numbers. Now we're using the E1450 as you can see right there. And the extreme lid is the 66-1101. Now you guys don't have to do the research. I did it for you. So I'm gonna put some links in the description where you can get these parts for your own 1965 Buick Riviera. And even if you're looking at other stuff, guys, you can hit the links and go find the things that fit your application. 
Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. You thought you were done with me. I almost forgot. If you're going to order this stuff, make sure you order the k and Recharge stuff with it. I know that you can use whatever oil you want and whatever soap you want, but you know something? There's a little bit of peace of mind in coming from knowing that you're using exactly the right stuff to keep the cotton element happy. You know, I don't, you don't want to use something too caustic, too rough, and have it deteriorate, you know, before its usable lifespan's over, which is practically forever at the way that we drive these things. So, get yourself one of these too when you place your order. I promise you'll be set for a lot of years. Realistically, you don't use that much of the stuff at a time. It'll be five, ten years down the road when you realize, oh crap, I gotta order some more of this stuff. You'll do great, guys. Thanks for watching.